Good day everyone, Rachel from Book Piles. Welcome to a uh, one-off video. I'm not making a habit of doing what I'm going to do other than I will do it again next year. <laughs> uh, I have just received a big box. Now, oh, tracking number. Um, <clears throat> I... About two weeks ago, I watched a video from Jen at the Book Refuge where she had just received the Bridgerton Limited Edition book box from Once Upon a Book Club. I think that is the correct name. I'll link their website in the description afterwards. Uh, I just went and looked now before I sat down to film and this box has now sold out. Um, it's, a, it's a limited edition uh hardback issues of the Bridgerton series so I've got that lot that pile there uh, and um, some other goodies as well now I do remember some of the goodies I don't remember everything I, I didn't I haven't watched any more videos I've saved a couple uh, to watch after I've unboxed mine so I'm going to go ahead and open it in front of you um, I do know no, it's well packaged actually, so we've got... Excuse all the rustling <laughs> and my bending out of the way. I do know from watching her video um, that we actually get the first four books in the series. Um, I don't think that's a spoiler anymore. This box has actually, I think, been out for a while. Um, because I didn't know about Once Upon a Book Club, I had no idea until I watched the video. Um, so the process of events was I watched it, or started to watch it, I went, oh, I paused, I went to the website and saw they did international, and I went, oh, okay, looked at the price and went, oh, went back and finished watching it and went, oh, FOMO, <laughs> uh, and went back and ordered it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Once upon a book club. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Postage people have damaged my box. Um, they do ship internationally, which is a really good thing. Uh, and I think, typically, from what I discovered, it that uh, what I will say on my iPad, which is an old iPad, the website just does not load properly at all. Um, I need to get onto my laptop and have a look um, but the shipping I think normally isn't too bad for this because it is heavy the shipping was probably double um, but I decided it was worth it are you ready to see this box I'm keeping the box look at the box you can kind of get an idea that it's heavy look at the box so we've got pages there pages pages and then uh, which is the right way around volume one it says at the bottom look at that <laughs> oh my goodness now i don't think i can open this in a way that things are i'll see i'll see what it looks like when i open this wow oh my goodness so <laughs> watch it all fall out I know there are breakables in this box so that is the, your first view <laughs> so I will just pull things out and show you I think um, so on the top I am concerned about the breakables I know that there are a couple of things in it um but i'm hoping it looks like it's well packed uh it feels oh okay yeah anyway so the first little plastic sleeve we have got we have got a uh, bookmark is it gonna focus don't focus on me focus on the bookmark there we go. I think that's a little bit better. I might still not be quite in focus. With a nice wee tassel. 
Where am I going to put it all? <laughs> uh, okay. A card. I am no expert, so I can't tell you what book this is from. He grabbed her hand and pulled her body against his. I burn for you, he said, touching his lips to her ear. And actually, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but the background looks like it's the page of a book as well. I'll have to study it. You can kind of see there in the background, the white writing is the page of a book. It may well be until Sophie. An offer from a gentleman. I can see the name Sophie and I know she's at an offer from a gentleman. I can't see his. Okay, and then we actually get really cool um, a Lady Whistledown's page. Oh, there's a family tree on the back. Tuesday the 20th of June 1821. Extraordinary people, extraordinary news. Okay, so there's an interview with uh, Julia Quinn, How to Play Croquet, and a, some sort of challenge thing, which I will read about later. So that's the first thing. So, oh gosh, they are beautiful. Look at that. There we go, book one, and off, uh, The Duke and I. Gosh, this is lovely. I just really liked the binding. The fact that it would be a matching set. I'm trying not to look, but I need to see what I'm showing you. And I understand, there it is. But first of all, look at the end papers. Those are beautiful too. Book one has actually been signed by Julia Quinn herself. So that is book one. And I thought that um, maybe I don't quite understand the process. Okay, well let's just... Uh, an offer from a gentleman, an offer from a gentleman. Uh, the Duke and I, page 402. So on... On the other gifts in the box, it tells you a page. So if we go to page 402 in here, I, th I thought there were some sort of markings to... I don't want to waste too much time. Oh, yes. So open your gift. Okay, so what we have got and it has arrived in one piece is an ink pot and uh well quill so you've got a nib you've got some different sizes there a feather oh it's protected but it's got words on it too i'm sure that everything is <laughs> A little ink pot. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic at the moment. Um, it says the property of Lady Whistledown. <laughs> and I don't know. Yeah. The feather has got printed words on it. I'll have to read that later. So that is the first gift that you get with that book, The Duke and I. Uh, this is The Duke and I, page 120, so we're not quite doing it in numerical order. 120. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, it, it actually underlines, I, I because I kind of know what these are, uh, you are truly an exceptional hostess, Simon said, holding out the flowers. These are for you. So I happen to know these are fake flowers. 
and they're fake tulips if I remember rightly. So very pretty colour actually too. Look at that. That's a lovely colour. Uh, okay, there's writing on the ribbon which I will study later. But actually that's um, for fake flowers. Those look pretty good to me. They might have to sit. They don't fit. <laughs> Um, okay, what have we got here? An offer from a gentleman. The Viscount who loved me, the Viscount who loved me. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten. The Duke and I, page uh, 244. I'm, I'm not going to show you the same thing again. We will just get on and get these things opened. Otherwise this video will take forever and ever and a day. I've forgotten about this. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a pretty ring. I would imagine it. This must be to do with maybe engagement. What page number? 244. We have to look. 244. It was the most beautiful piece of jewellery Daphne had ever seen. Brilliant but elegant. Obviously precious but not overly showy. I don't think it will fit on my fat fingers though. No, it won't fit on that. Cute though. I'd forgotten about that. That is one of the things I had forgotten about. So that's a nice surprise, because that was my fear, is that I'm going to remember everything. Um, but I knew I hadn't remembered everything. Okay. Uh, that's a ch uh, the glove. Okay. We've got, this doesn't relate to any of the books here. The Bridgerton Glove Story Challenge. So we have got, oh, they're actually quite lacy. Uh, use everyday items around your home to recreate the photo on the front of this card. Uh, get creative. Think toilet paper, food, old clothes. Be sure to include one of the Bridgerton books along with your pair of gloves. So that's the picture on the front of the card. I like the ring. These are probably not going to fit on my hands either. No. Oh. Eh, I don't want to risk it. But they actually might. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have been a dainty person. <laughs> okay. Right, let's move on. Uh, put those down there. Put that there. That goes with the Viscount who loved me. Okay, so, so the Viscount Who Loved Me is the next book, and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And again, the same pretty end papers. I think it's only the first book that's signed. Um... Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we'll start with um, page 140. I wasn't going to do this because it'll take forever, but the things kind of don't make sense otherwise. Okay, then abruptly she crouched down and scooped up the key. You will never marry my sister, she said. So, like, this feels like it's a key. Just a reproduction, old key. Some lace at the top. Um... 
page 279 Anthony grasped the saucer this is one of the things that I remembered and I'm worried about it's a very pretty box very pretty box Gentle rake, this author is pleased to who? Report. Ah, uh, no. Ah, gentle reader, this author is pleased to report. Look at the inside. So that has come through unscathed, not to dishwash it or microwave safe. And the saucer has come through. Oh, I'm so pleased about that. So pretty. So the inside is really pretty and then you've got the wording on that side. Yay! Okay, and then I happen to know, uh, if I remember rightly, the Viscount who loved me, this is some tea bags. Uh, two tea bags. Just two? I thought there were three. No, there are only two. Uh, we have got breakfast in Paris, which is just black tea. Blended black teas, lavender, bergamot, oil, vanilla extract. And we have got ginger peach green tea. Ginger root, natural peach flavour, matcha. Matcha! Maybe that's what, oh no, I don't know. We're not trying them on camera if anybody knows me from any other channel. <laughs> and then the third book that we get in here is an offer from a gentleman. Love, love, love. Again, I think the end papers are all the same. Yep, they're all the same. So we have got page 344. 258 and 152 okay 152 uh, okay so yeah it's a whole paragraph to read but essentially you'll see what it is comes again in a nice box uh, interestingly this this actually was the thing oh no that was what was outside uh, it's got seals down the side bear with ah <laughs> oh, this box is lovely too it's a bit mine's a bit broken uh, how much as far does that cellar tape go Wow, this is lovely in person. So this is, I understand, a sketchbook because Benedict draws, if you remember, book three. I don't believe it would be real leather. So it's got a, a magnetic clasp. it opens there's a pin holder in the way it's stuck oh and it's a binding pen holder so that's what it looks like and then you've got some pockets of stuff on that side but I believe it is just yeah blank paper cool Oh, okay, so that's the first picture. 
All right. What we have got, there is a um, plastic cover over the top. So that's the first picture. Oh, it's not easy to turn. I thought there was another, there is another one. It's just... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, it's fine. And that's it, just those two pictures already. Oh, that's really cool. And because it's a binding, um, I would say that's a fairly standard binding ring binder in the system, in the centre rather. You could actually repurpose that at some point into a planner or something like that. I like that, that's lovely. Uh, we'll put it back in its box. And then, uh, Page 258. So how do they introduce this? Ah, oh, your book is upside down, he pointed out. Okay. So this comes like that. to be careful with the scissors. This is how. And this is book four. Romancing with Deborah Bridgerton. gift is in a little pouch and it is on page 344 oh yeah with one wrenching movement she somehow managed to yank down the scarves until they hang loosely hung loosely around her I've forgotten about this too so this is a scarf Nice colours, that's a good start. Okay, that's quite a good size as you can tell. Tassels at the end. Make you blurry. And there we go. So that is my uh, Bridgerton box with not in the right order, maybe. Ugh. The first four books in this binding box. Uh, and as I say, the other box, the other four apparently will come in a box next year. This actually feels very nice. Not sure what it's made of. That feels very nice. Um, so I can now go and watch other people's reactions to seeing it. I'm um, sorry that if you missed out now, um, you are, you're not able to get one because it's sold out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing me uh, open it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you again in another video soon. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.